Hey, this is Randy Belker with CuresAndRemedies.net. Uh, today I'll be answering the question, um, is um, a yeast infection really a mold? Um, and the answer to this is uh, absolutely it is. Uh, Candida albicans, um, the, the uh, yeast spore, uh, is found in everybody's body. Right? All, all humans have it after birth. Uh, and uh, our body typically keeps it in balance. Right? With the bacteria in our body um, uh, keep the balance of the, the fungi that's in the body uh, in, in, a, in a healthy balance. Uh, what happens is if for some reason that bacteria is uh, killed or gone like through antibiotics or something, the fungi now is taking over and um, will implant itself into the cell walls where, whether it's internal to our body or whether it's to a specific part of our skin um, externally. Um, and what it does is it will hold on. It's, it's a type of fungus is what it is. And um, when it groups together with a bunch of other fungi, um, it becomes what is known as mold. And it's typically called a, a yeast infection. Um, as a fungi, but it, it is a mold. It's a it's a whole colony of uh, fungi that are living together as kind of acting as a single organism uh, inside your body in some way. Um, now, uh, fungi uh, typically uh, it, it, it's kind of like a mushroom. Right? It typically lives in water, on uh, decaying wood, uh, in dark, moist places in the forest on rotten logs, uh, that kind of stuff. It's kind of, I mean, it is a part of the mushroom family. Um, and um, it survives by secreting enzymes into the surrounding area, and those enzymes break down the stuff that's around, whether it's your own body cells or whether it's the log, and um, it will then be able to digest and get its nutrients from... Uh, in the place that it's living on, the host that it's living on. Uh, it does not need the sun to survive. It's not uh, a plant. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, create its food by photosynthesis, um, but through these enzymes that it secretes uh, and then pulls in the, the uh, nutrients that it needs. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of nasty to think about this, uh, these organisms living inside of us actually feeding, using us as the host, but that's exactly what, what, what is happening in a yeast infection. Um, now, if you're suffering from a yeast infection, um, everybody uh, in the course of their life at one time or another, actually up to 75% of the people um, have some type of a yeast infection. So it's very, very common. It's been uh, throughout uh, human history. Um, and people have been being cured from it throughout human history as well, using different natural uh, drugs and methods. Uh, long before the drug companies came along, uh, you know, and tried to corner the market on cures, that kind of a thing. Um, but uh, if if you have some type of a, a yeast infection and and you're fed up, you're you're ready to be done with the pain and hassle of recurring yeast infections, uh, you can have relief within 12 hours. Um, uh, just go to the link below uh, to get the yeast infection program that actually deals with the root causes um, of yeast infections as opposed to uh, just masking or dealing with the symptoms setting you up for a relapse of that yeast infection. Um, so go to that link and check it out. Thanks.